One of the biggest misnomers about saltwater tanks is that they're hard to maintain. When I hear this and then I tell people that I have a 450 gallon tank and I ask them, how much time do you think I spend a week maintaining my tank? I get answers from a couple hours a week to, how do you get anything else done? That tank has to own your life. Now I always chuckle because a well-designed saltwater tank is actually very easy to maintain. I spend less than 30 minutes a week maintaining this 450 gallon reef. Now even if you're running a small saltwater tank like the 20 gallon budget reef tank, maintaining the tank doesn't have to own your life. Here's what works for me and my clients condensed for the budget reef. Every day, feed your fish and make sure all your fish are accounted for. Each week, run these water tests and log your results. Emphasis on log your results. You want to spot trends in your tank and if you don't have the results from these water tests, you won't have any data analyzed to spot the trends. Besides spotting trends in your tank, a water test will tell you if you need to do the next piece of tank maintenance, a water change. I'm not a fan of doing a water change just to do a water change. I want you to do a water change when your tank tells you that it needs to do a water change. So when you run a nitrate or phosphate test and the results come back above these levels, then you want to do a water change. A reef tank is a saltwater tank with corals in it, and corals use up elements out of your tank's water. The big three elements that corals use are alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. So when you run an alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium test and the results come back below these levels, then it's time to do a water change. A water change with a salt meant for a reef tank will bring these elements back up to their acceptable levels. If your water test results aren't outside of these ranges, there's no need to do a water change. Make your life simple, only do a water change when your tank tells you that it needs it. Preview of coming attractions. There will come a time when you cannot maintain your alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium levels by water changes alone. At that time, you'll start running Kalkwasser and or dosing your tank. No need to worry about that. For now, know that the effectiveness of water changes to maintain your alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium levels will run out, which isn't a bad thing. That means your corals are growing so well that they need a helping hand. No matter what your tank parameter levels, once a week replace a filter pad and the hang on back filter on your budget reef tank. It's not worth trying to wait until the filter is dead, so just replace it weekly. Since you have stronger lights on your budget reef tank, expect to have to scrape the algae off the sides of the tank more frequently than when you had the budget salt water tank. Algae on the sides of the tank isn't a bad thing, and we included an algae scraper in the budget reef kit to make cleaning the glass easy. One piece of tank maintenance I'm guilty of not doing is taking photos of my reef. Once a month, grab your camera, and your camera can even be your smartphone, and take a full tank shot of your reef. Full tank shot is one that shows your whole tank in the frame. Over time, you're going to build up a nice collection of photos that shows the progress of your reef. Don't be intimidated by the nice photos that you see online. Just grab your camera. That can again be your smartphone. Grab whatever camera you have. The point is, take photos, take them once a month, and build up a progress collection to show you how your tank is done. Some tank maintenance can be done once a quarter. These items are cleaning your lights, wipe down the heat sinks and the fan on your fixtures if it has one, and if you're running T5s, wipe down the reflectors with a wet rag, then wipe them dry. Dirty reflectors mean less light into your tank. If you're running LEDs, wipe down the lenses to keep them clean. Power heads should be cleaned once a quarter. Remove them from your tank and soak them in dilute vinegar solution. 10 parts water to 1 part vinegar. Vinegar you get at the grocery store works just fine, and you can use tap water for the water component of the mixture. Soak for 30 minutes, then scrub them clean with a stip brush, wash them in tap water, and return them to your tank. Spending small amounts of time doing regular tank maintenance means less tank headaches. It also means that you're less likely having to spend a lot of time doing major tank maintenance. Look slow and steady wins this race. I'd rather see you spend lots of time enjoying your reef because you spent little amounts of time along the way. I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.